Hey, what's up, everyone? Big Black Love here. Well, um, been saving up some kits for you guys. Still got some more coming in because I found some more deals, but literally, I am not buying any more kits or supplies or nothing for a while. Except for maybe paint or glue because I got plenty of everything now. I got kits upon kits for engines, wheels and tires, body mods, uh, you name it, I've bought everything I got an idea for. And then some, and then some, and then a little bit more. So, and I got a little bit of an update on a couple kits I'm working on, uh, a little bit of work done to the fortress, a little bit done to the uh, monster rig to pull the fortress. And uh, I just went down to the office and said there was a package, and there was actually three. So I got a bunch more than I was planning on. Jim in Ohio, uh, as a few of you guys may know. I know I got a couple private messages from YouTube and Facebook. Uh, people saying, hey, uh, Jim's putting more kits on. Yeah, uh, I'm on uh, all the warning lists as well. <laughs> so, but I was only looking for specific kits, and I thought I'd be nice and leave a bunch of those great kits for other people but uh, I did he did have a couple that I've actually been looking for so I had to buy them and you know I got a little joke going with Jim hey you got me again buddy so uh, yeah he got me again it's almost like uh, he knows what I'm looking for and finds it and puts it on there just to get me to buy it <laughs> alright so anyways uh, I guess since they're on top, I will start with what I got from Jim. And I had to buy two of these because, A, they were both factory sealed. And I was hoping I'd get lucky and one would be in way better shape than the other. And one's in a little bit better shape than the other. But I've been looking for this kit since, uh, well, actually before I got the Prowler kits. But the 37 uh, Ford convertible with the trailer. Uh, he had one of these. I didn't notice he actually had three of them, so uh, I bought two of them. So, and uh, this, I remember this being a pretty cool kit when I built it when I was a kid. And uh, so, yeah, I wanted one for parts, or one for the trailer for a different kit. So it's a pretty generic car looking car trailer. And, uh, you know, one to build as an actual complete kit. So, I <clears throat> picked up two again. And, um, picked this up because uh, I like the way basically uh, the steel wheels, tires, and the, uh, the headers looked on this kit. American Graffiti 32 Deuce. Uh, it's a pretty nice little body, too, because it actually has uh, modified rear fenders there. So, it's a pretty cool body. I'm pretty sure I'll use it, but to be 100% honest, the only reason I bought this is because I like the body. And uh, I hope it, I was hoping it might come with some cool parts, but looks like it's got some pretty nice seats in it, and uh, those wheels look pretty nice for, you know, steel wheels, which I like for uh, old builds. And uh, 32 Ford Phantom. Uh, this is a pretty cool kit. I've never had it before, but I don't know. I just like it because it's kind of got the uh, chopped convertible top, and it has the spoked wheels, which I bought this kit for those wheels. And the body. I mean, this is a whole kit, but this kit is not getting those wheels. Those wheels are going to be for another another build. Uh, 58 Ford Edsel Pacer. Um, these make great lowriders. At least I think so. But I'm actually thinking um, I got to get me a purple pond going as soon as I get my new place. And uh, I got a couple of these bodies. One of them, for some dumb reason, I smashed up. But the other one's still pretty good. Might use it for something else. But I wanted to build a really nice lowrider. And I had a couple of them from this kit uh, previous. Before I started building again. And they were pretty nice kits. 
So, uh, my grandpa. Basically, that was just, uh, I bought that to go along with because for 15 bucks and the shipping wouldn't have been any different. I was in that bulk category where, yeah, might as well grab an extra kit. And, uh, yeah, so, and then, uh, eBay hauls. Gotta love eBay. Well, in one sense, you gotta hate eBay because I can't pass up a good deal when I got money in my pocket. And, uh,. Or it's the extra money in my pocket. Because I still got plenty of money in my pocket. But it ain't the extra play money. I spent all that. It's gone. Uh, so now I'm back to saving up for play money. So anyways. Uh, I got two of these. Uh, they came in a lot of two together. Uh, the Mach 3 Mustang. Um, I figured it would be uh, good for parts. Uh, you know, build one. See how it builds. Um, looked like I had a, uh, a pretty cool engine there that could be used for quite a few different things. And, uh, I got them for, uh, $16 shipped. So I paid eight bucks a piece for them. Well, like eight something, so just a little bit over, uh, I think it was almost 17 bucks. But, uh, couldn't pass it up. Just good. Because I've actually been wanting one of those. And then I found two of them for a price of what one's normally going for. I just looked at that as 16 bucks. Buy one, get one free. And, uh, da 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 da. Okay, we'll save those and those. Ah, uh, found another vet van. Um, same reason as the Corvette America. I wanted to build it, but the other one I have is sealed, and I certainly wasn't going to bust open uh, one of my collection kits to build it. So I found this one. Honestly, I think I paid the same price for this one. If the other one, I have to look it up. But I think I want to pay. I think I paid like forty-five bucks shipped for an open one. Thirty-five bucks shipped, something like that. Uh, but it is all there. It's all in good shape. Uh, the only thing that really pissed me off about this guy uh, charged me like nine dollars for shipping, and uh, he sent it in a four-dollar bag. Yeah. So and I'm pretty surprised the box. They must have heard it and felt that it was lightweight and took good care of it because I was like, oh man, uh, if anything's wrong with that kit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be pissed if it's squished. But it wasn't, so lucky for him, he just got a bullshit shipping charge, and that was it. And da 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 da! Okay, well, these are kind of from different guys, but I'm kind of cutting them up and putting them in categories. I've uh, been looking for this kit for a while. It's the Vampire Von. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. I don't know if the actual guy comes out of there. I'll just throw it at you. don't know if the vampire guy comes out of there, but there's supposed to be a vampire in the coffin. Uh, I thought this was actually a really cool looking little kit with like the Hursty looking back on the rod. And I was like, wow, cool. And it wasn't too bad of a price. Um... I got it for a little bit under what most be going for in eBay. Um, I picked this up in uh, 64 Belvedere, the race car edition one. Whose car is it? Paul Goldsmith's record setting stock car. Now, I bought this one because it's basically the same exact Lindenburg kit. At 64 Belvedere that I showed you guys and did the kit review on. But this one comes with the uh, period correct 426 Hemi with the cowl styled intake uh, scoop. It has uh, hoses and I'm just. Well, first off, yeah, just uh, look at the engine detail. And uh, and look at the chassis. Let's see if we get the. There we go. <clears throat> Try to do this. Get close, and I can't see nothing. But it is just amazing. It's got a fuel pump. It looks like and hoses and an oil cooler for the differential and headers. And it just looks like it's freaking amazingly done. I mean, it's got a cage inside. Um, 
Really nice kit. I uh, picked this one up for like 10 bucks cheaper than in the hobby stores. They want like 29 bucks for it. I think I got this one for 19 or 22 or something like that. And it was one of those that uh, I think I got it from the guy that does uh, anything two or more at 7.95 shipping. So it was already technically free shipping. So I said, hey, I'll get one of those because I seen it in the store. And that picture right there made me want to get it. Alright, so here's that. I picked up the double Drakester kit. The Fiat one. No, is it a Fiat one? I don't know if there's a different one. It's this one. So now I got the other double Drakester, a double 22 JR, but this one's pretty cool because it literally almost has enough stuff to build three cars if you added a few junk parts. Because it's got two of the Chevy engines, because it's one of the frames is a double engine dragster, and then you got the three different bodies, and you got the open chassis frame, and it's just uh, this is well worth the 30 bucks they want for it. I think I paid a little bit less for this one. I have to look it up for specifics, but I uh, picked up the Tarantula. Uh, unless it seems to be a really awesome kit, I really wanted it for parts. I wanted that double blower set up so I can copy to make more parts. Uh, I got my two extra Cobras that I told a few people about. I told you about in the last video. So I got three of these puppies now. Um, Alright, now what I consider to be the awesome deals or sweet kits. All right, so uh, I got me a sealed 85 Camaro. Uh, I have this exact same kit on the shelf open. It seems like a pretty good kit. I got this one for like 15 or 18 bucks sealed. Couldn't pass it up. That's my new phrase. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, this one been wanting. I think it was 25 or 30 bucks. But it's a 20th anniversary turbo freaking Firebird GTA. Um, this kit is pretty hard to come by. And uh, I've seen it built. It's a pretty cool kit. All right, now, awesome deal. I picked up all three the orange, the purple. And the green. Weirdos monster trucks. Da -da -da! Uh, $20. Well, $19.99. And $14.99 shipping. $34 for all three factory sealed. A couple little dents here and there on the corners. But these are, like I've said before, awesome, awesome, awesome kits. And I just could not, 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 even if I didn't have money, pass up $10 a piece monster trucks in this detail. But at least I had money, because then I don't have to listen to anybody bitch that I spent money I don't have, because I don't like that I feel guilty. Alright, this one just showed up today, and I can't believe I got this. I paid a little bit for it, I will be honest. Um, I almost had to pay maximum I originally willing said I would pay for it. With shipping, I think I paid just under, I think it was like 87 bucks. Uh, or 89 bucks. But, obviously no one else was willing to pay that much money for it. It was $11 shipping, and I got stuck with a 76 something dollar bid. But, I was willing to pay 80 something for it, because I really, really wanted it. And it was factory sealed. And it was this guy. The Mr. Bro. Or, I call it a blazing. A blazing basin. But, I've been wanting this kit for a long time. And this kit, it goes for like 200 bucks by it now. And normally goes for well over $100. Uh, before shipping. So, all in all, even though I did spend a little bit. I think I got a pretty good deal. And this is obviously going in the collection. Um, 
It comes with all sorts of cool stuff. It's got like uh, separate little weight bars, tools, helmet, fire extinguisher, uh, cooler, a little wagon, some batteries. I can't tell what else is there, but. And I picked up another quicksand kit. This one sounds like it has lots of loose parts in it, which sucks. But, uh, and then the not so factory sealed, factory sealed turbo Mustangs with wet bike and trailer. I've been looking for this kit for the last few years since I saw it in Top Revision's stash video. And then he showed it, oh, about a month ago, maybe two, he did a video. And uh, that made me want it even more. And I got it. And believe it or not, I only paid $50 for it. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's ripped here. And it's ripped along the back with corners are still intact, so it's definitely never been opened. And, um, you know, there it is. Alright, so that's my, uh, several hundred dollars in kits right there. And now, on to the quick show and tell. Alright, so, uh, I don't have the box there. I'm working on the Bantam Blast, or the Black Widow. Uh, basically painted it with leftover paint. Um... I guess I should have opened the, uh, the lighter red. I didn't kind of forgot how dark this really was, and I had to put two coats on it, so it made it even darker. But I got just enough out of the can to paint it, and it's already nice and dry, so there's that one. And then the, uh, I got parts in it, but this kit, Model T Ford. Multi million different car build. Um, I painted both the bodies, and uh, the idea I had for this one, I still might use. Kind of paint wrinkled a little bit on me there in the back. There you can see it bubbled on the lip, and a little bit on this side. This side looks pretty good, except for the lip. I figured maybe some decals, and or. Uh, rust it out a little bit, make it look like it used to be pretty and now it's in its older years because I need to learn how to do that because I like the look of fucked up pretty cars. That makes sense? Like they used to be pretty, now they need to be redone. And then this paint I had left over and I didn't even realize that uh, there was a freaking spur on it until after I painted it. I don't know how the hell I missed that. But you can see that little bump right there. And it got a little uh, a little orange peel mark. But all in all, this could be wet sanded out pretty nice. It's got three coats on it. It's probably another reason why it's a little thick. Because the can was spraying crappy. This was a can I got from my buddy Judy. He gave me. Uh, he completely destroyed one of his, a couple of his kits with it. And still had like half a can left. And it was that uh, Boyd's Sunburst Orange. Uh, actually, it's a really nice color. Uh, the can was spraying fucked up because it was all sticky. So, and uh, base coat, I got to paint it again. Uh, flat olive, light green uh, for the trailer wheels. The monster truck wheels, I'm going to leave purple and silver and grime them up. Here's what it looks like with the tire. So I got a rust out the chrome centers, put them in there. Uh, base primer, the trailer frame, truck frame, took off the thing, the fifth wheel, because I'm probably going to have to move it a little bit so I can put stuff behind the cab and still have room for the trailer to move. And I decided the base color of the original truck would be um, it's a Buckeye Brown, but I say it looks more like a milk chocolate or uh, chocolate. So, not really sticky anymore. So, actually pretty good. 
Uh, I didn't really prime it because I was kind of actually hoping that I could scratch some paint off here and there. I'm going to be adding a couple extra layers and then rust, grime, all that kind of crap. But I'm not going to get into any weathering or none of that stuff until after I'm in the new place. Because I just don't have room to do all the stuff I need to do at once. You hear the trailer so far. I still got to cut it out. I was about ready to cut it out the other day. And then I had to go pick Jessica up. And I lost my building mojo. But I got the uh, back half. This is going to be the uh, auto cargo for the... Uh, motorbikes and the dune buggy I built a doored wall there because basically I'm making the back half of it bulletproof armored to protect the gasoline and the vehicles and whatnot and then up here in the front because this side is going to be the engine on this side I'm going to have a huge gas tank, uh, fuel cell or something, and I'm going to put some armor around it. And then on this side, behind the motor in the front, is going to be a little area for the controls for the engine, for the hydraulics, uh, for the various weapons, uh, the moving walls, the rear gate, and so on and so forth. So, and then of course I got to build a hydraulic tank, I got to run some hydraulic lines, um, then I got all the stuff going on with the motorized part of the trailer, and then I'm going to have the gunning system. To be perfectly honest, I do not think I'm going to even come close to have time to have this, or the truck done for the deadline of Dr. Cranky's build the end of the summer in August, but... Um, I, it's so far with just the trailer and the rig and the styrene and the parts I've bought and to cannibalize for this thing, I have over $100 in this build, so I am by far not going to rush it, and I want this thing to be a showstopper at the hobby stores, because I think if I can learn the grime and rusting, um, I think I might shine at that and be able to get a first place diorama build, which I really would like to knock a couple of them old guys off their perch in my local area. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes, and that's about all I got for now, so peace.